Reed's hydrostatic test pumps are designed for pressure testing water systems in both residential and commercial buildings. Just like any high quality piece of equipment, the test pump may require general maintenance. Here are some tips to keep in mind in the event that your pump begins to lose pressure. Check the supply hose connection. The first thing to check if the pump is not building pressure, see if the supply hose and the bypass hose connections are firmly attached. Also, check to see if the screen washer is present in the hose connection. Do not run the pump without the washer screen number 98180 in the intake. Debris may cause damage to the pump or may cause the pump to lose pressure. Inspect the check valves. If the pump still does not build pressure, there may be debris lodged in the check valves. There are two check valves under each end cap. Remove the end caps using a 5 mm hex wrench. To remove the check valves, use a thin edge tool to lightly pry off the valve. Inspect the check valve for small amounts of debris between the white plastic seal and the metal cage. Reassemble the pump. 90% of the issue of the pumps not building pressure is caused by debris lodged in the check valves. If the issue is not solved, the pump seals may have to be replaced using seal kit number 98181. Seal replacement. First, remove the pump end caps using a five millimeter hex wrench. In order to remove the piston, the pump must be removed from the motor, EHTP models, or bearing housing, DPHTP models. Remove the name plate on the front of the pump. Some of the grease inside the housing may have to be removed in order to access the four Phillips head screws at the back of the housing. These are aluminum screws and caution must be taken not to strip the heads. It is recommended to use a number 3P Phillips head screwdriver. An impact driver may be used if the screws are too tight to remove by hand. One or two of the screws will remain behind the main bearing. The bearing must be rotated around by wedging a flathead screwdriver between the housing and the bearing, forcing the bearing out of the way to access the screws behind it. After the screws have been removed, position the bearing so that it can be detached from the pump housing, then remove the piston. Disconnect the piston bushings from each end of the pump housing. Remove the brass washer and three seals from the piston bushings. Be sure to observe the orientation of the seals. Remove the two internal O-rings on the inside of the piston bushings and replace them. Remove and replace the four external O-rings on the outside of the piston bushings. Replace the three seals and brass washer on both piston bushings. Apply a water-resistant all-purpose lithium grease to the O-rings and seals if needed and insert into the pump housing. There are two remaining large O-rings that are not used and can be discarded. Replace the check valve seals and springs. Push the metal cup out of the rubber seal and replace the spring. Push the assembly into the new seal and return the valves to the housing. Mount the pump back onto the motor or bearing housing and refill the pump housing with a water-resistant, all-purpose lithium grease if needed. Then reassemble the end caps. Reed recommends periodic maintenance of your hydrostatic test pump every 100 hours to maximize efficiency.
Check out Reed's other hydrostatic test pump videos at www.reedmfgco.com.